Hi Dolly friends, this is Kitty and I'm Tati and, and welcome, welcome to Little Bottle Nursery. Our channel is dedicated to our love of dolls and creating fun and positivity in the doll hobby. So stick around and have some dolly fun. Hi Dolly friends and welcome to Little Wattle Nurseries Egg Stravaganza. My name is Kitty, hi. And with my daughter Totty, we are a doll collecting duo from Australia. We love to collect and play with all kinds of different dolls, which means there's always something new happening each week in our dolly nursery. Now some of our dollies in the nursery are all dressed up today for our egg extravaganza and we are excited to share those details with you today so grab a cup of tea dolly friends and stay a while so a bit of a change of scenery this year from last year's egg extravaganza our front room is off limits at the moment as we're still renovating and I can't bring all the dolls outside today because we've had lots of rain and I'm just worried if I drag them all out here um, that it'll start raining and I won't be able to get them back inside. So it'll be a mixture of both inside and outside today. So for our new viewers here today, we've been doing some DIY stuff at home and I'll go through shortly and just show you what construction work we've been doing. And then I'll go through the outfit details of our dolly egg extravaganza. But let's just take a look at these beauties. What do we have going on here? This is Ruby and she is our Patty Play Pal doll. She was made in the very early 1960s and she's wearing a really beautiful candy pink dress love the bow details the frill trim and i love how the, the the skirt part flares out she's got a petticoat on underneath she's got really sweet little socks and look at this gorgeous headband this little floral bunny ears headband that she has in her hair i think that just looks so super adorable don't you, Ruby? You look lovely. And down here, she's going to start collecting some eggs. So we've got a little chick and there's her basket. And these are actually wooden Easter eggs. My regular viewers know that I have Polish heritage. And so we bring these wooden Easter eggs out every year. They've, they've been beautifully painted. This is from, well, Crack Off, but Krakow. Uh, English speaking people pronounce it so they, this is um, a real art form in Poland painting wooden eggs in beautiful designs Totty actually made this one in woodwork at school hers is plain but I just love these painted eggs and then coming up here we've got two reborn dolls and this one's Matilda May and this is Tiffany Grace and Matilda May is wearing this really gorgeous woolen bunny ears. And I'll just pull her little bunny out of the way so you can see she's got matching little booties. And then she's got this really beautiful pair of jam pants on from Juliana. Pants have got really sweet bows at the side and I just love the frill collar at the neck of her shirt super cute look at that detail just there on her bunny is so adorable and here's her little bunny and then over here <laughs> how sweet does tiffany grace look dressed up as a little lamb and she's got her little lamb rattle and so she's got this really sweet little lamb hat that has these or just little pink ribbon details at the side. I just love the little tie-ups here. And this is actually a dress. Isn't it lovely? So, and she has little booties, little matching beauties, booties. But um, isn't it just lovely? It says handmade with love. And there's this really sweet little rosette. But she just looks so adorable. And there's her little lamb rattle. So they're just hanging out in the pram, 
Ruby's playing with them. She loves the reborn babies. She loves playing with the reborn or any baby in the nursery. And then here's our lovely bunnies that we brought back from one of our overseas holidays from the Arctic Circle in Finland. So what's going on next? How about we move on to our renovations and then we'll move on with the rest of the egg extravaganza. So this is our new wall. That's where the windows used to be. I'll pop a picture up and show you what it used to look like. So that's pretty awesome. You can see we've got all this plastic everywhere, covering everything in our front room. And that's because we're doing the ceiling. And it's a really hard job because this is an old house built in the very early 1950s. We're having problems with paint at the moment, so we've got a different kind of paint because it's streaking a little bit. So that's the work that's happening in our front living room at the moment. So yes, we're living in a bit of mess and rubble at the moment. So I'm going to start with a quick outfit change on our newest addition to the nursery. This is the Ashton Drake Galleries doll. The doll name is Paris and she is their eighth competition winner. The doll is actually based on a real baby. And I recently did a box opening for this doll and I've included a link in the description box if you're interested in checking it out. So today I'm going to dress her into a really sweet outfit. So this is one of my favourite children's clothing brands. It's made in Portugal. It's Fruit de Mar Passion. And this little outfit's uh, three months I think it's going to be a little bit large on her, but I'll make it work. But I just love the bright yellow colours in the detail down the front of the top. And this gorgeous floral collar detail. Isn't it gorgeous? I love the yellow stitching. And I love this detail in the fabric. It's just so pretty, this top. So that's the top. And it's very... Easter. I think it has that kind of Easter vibe about it. And how sweet are these jam pants? These matching jam pants. Like bows galore. Two yellow bows at the front. And then at the back, there's another little bow. And I love how the print matches the collar detail in the jam pants and I love how the jam pants are finished off with this bright yellow piece down the bottom it just looks so lovely that's going to look beautiful together and then I'm going to match it with these gorgeous yellow socks and they're a brand called Conda you can see how much I paid for them I get these from the UK because that's £6.50, but I love these socks. They're so pretty. They've got the bow detail. So I'll put that with it. And then the piece de resistance. Little bunny ears. Aren't they gorgeous? With the pearl details and the floral accents across the front here. That's going to look so super cute. Okay, so let's get started getting this little girl dressed and I'll just have a quick chat and catch up. I'm really enjoying this new dolly. She's such a pretty dolly and so excited that she finally became available in Australia. I know my dolly friends in the US, you've had this dolly since uh, Christmas time and I just didn't think that she was ever going to be available in Australia so I'm so excited she's just a really lovely doll and I can't wait to start dressing her in some clothes. The stork is actually going to be arriving quite a few times this year because I'm celebrating a big milestone birthday in July this year so 
I'm feeling really excited about all these new arrivals that are going to come. Oh, I just want to point out, isn't this really cool? Look what Ashton Drake's now doing so that um, consumers can now verify that they're buying the genuine product. So I'm super excited about the stork bringing new dollies into our nursery this year. Some of them, some of the dolls, I know what's going to arrive. Others I don't. It's a complete surprise. So that's super exciting. And I'm really excited to share it with our viewers. So make sure that you stay close to the channel, stay tuned in so that you find out, you know, which little dollies are going to arrive this year. We've been super duper busy in our household. So we haven't uploaded as much as what we want to or plan to this year. I've been so busy. I haven't been able to catch up on a lot of people's channels. I do apologize, but my my life outside of YouTube, my work is crazy busy at the moment. The same with my husband and Totty is so incredibly busy at high school this year. She's also very busy with her dancing commitments. She's doing a lot of solo work and she's also in a troupe. And things have really ramped up this year with both of those. So there's been a lot of interstate trips backwards and forwards, organising costumes and bits and pieces. So a big apology to all our Dolly friends that we haven't been able to catch up on all your content. I'm hoping that over the Easter break that I'll be able to catch up on some videos. I'm actually looking forward to that because we're not going away this year. We've decided to stay put because of the renovation work. So I'm going to speed up the video now and get little the little Paris doll dress so we can move on and reveal this little girl's name because we're, we've actually decided upon a name, which is exciting. So let's speed up the video now. So we hope everyone's been enjoying their Easter break. We've been catching up with family, which has been really lovely. It's been nice to just take some time to do that. Oh, look how precious she looks. I love the yellow color on her. It looks absolutely sensational. Now, we mentioned in our previous video that we were going to reveal the name that we wanted to pick for this dolly in this video. We really enjoyed receiving lots of name suggestions from our viewers and it was actually hard to pick a name from that list because they were all very, very good. But we have decided on a name and it's a really sweet, short and sweet little dolly name. So her name is going to be Drumroll Emma. A short and sweet name for a sweet dolly. So what do you think of Emma's pretty outfit? And what do you think of her name? Let us know in the comments. Okay, now it's time to move on to some more dollies in our nursery. Who else do we have here that's all dressed up for this egg extravaganza? Okay, time to move on to some more dollies in our nursery. Here are our sleeping reborn dolls. Starting from the left, this is Arabella Rose. This is Benjamin James. And then over here on the right is Lucinda Clare. So Arabella Rose is wearing this really sweet bunny outfit from a company called Ruglets. It's made in Colombia, but the uh, company is Spanish. And I purchased this one overseas. It's a onesie that has these really sweet bow details at the ankles and then there's buttons and then this really gorgeous bunny ears hat or beanie. She just looks so precious and she's got a little toy Flopsy. Oh, what a precious angel. Benjamin James is wearing one of my favorite baby clothing brands. This is Juliana. I absolutely adore the little brown bunny on the front of his jumper. I love the Peter Pan collar. And he has these sweet little pants to match. I've kept his feet bare because he just has the sweetest little tootsies. Didn't put any sockies on him. 
and he's our only boy reborn doll in the nursery he's such a little precious man aren't you yes you look gorgeous and he's holding his little matching beige bunny he just looks so sweet oh you're so precious bj oh look at little lucinda claire she looks so pretty in her bright yellow bunny outfit isn't it adorable she's got these gorgeous little knee-high socks with bows so cute and it's this gorgeous yellow outfit that has organza and some beautiful lace detail at the sleeves and this really sweet bunny hat with some yellow trims some yellow flower trims she just looks so precious and she's got her little yellow chick to match. Oh, she is so precious. Yes, you are, Lucinda Claire. Lucy, you look so gorgeous, all dressed in yellow, so Easter themed. So moving along over in the corner here are some of our vintage dolls. Not all our collection, but just some of them. And they look so sweet with their bunny ears. Let's do a little close up and see what they're all wearing today. This is Lucy and she's our uh, Madame Alexander Kathy doll. And viewers probably remember I did an outfit change on her a little while back. So all I've done is just teamed up her outfit with this really sweet bunny pair of bunny ears. And this is Audrey. She's a Toodles doll, a Toodles action doll. And I did an outfit change on her at the same time because I pair these two, I often sort of twin them, even though they're two dolls made by two different doll companies. There's similar features with the molded hair, so she looks really sweet with her little floral headband here and the bunny ears. And I just love her outfit with all the floral details on it so cute so they're similar the outfits that they're wearing but I just love that floral detail in their outfits super super cute now at the back here we've got some vintage toddler dolls this is Emerald and she is from Canada she's from the Regal toy company in Canada and then these two dollies here they're actually uh, Totty's vintage dolls. They're unmarked and this one's Tabitha and that's Colette and we call them our non-identical twins and I just love how Colette's bunny ears, purple bunny ears, they're so pretty, match her floral dress. This is little Aubrey and she is the pretty in pink doll by Ashton Drake. She was their 25th anniversary doll. And she is just looking so sweet in this floral romper. I love the detail on the Peter Pan collar. And aren't her bunny ears so adorable? The pearls and the roses and the lace. She just looks so precious. <gasps> Aubrey, you look darling. And then moving across here, this is Daisy Bell, and she's a reborn doll. And she's wearing this really pretty dress uh, that I purchased from Children's Salon. I love the gorgeous rabbit detail with the bow. Isn't that adorable? It has beautiful white stars, and she's wearing a really pretty floral headband as well bunny headband this one's white with roses and pearl details looking super cute daisy bell this is emma we met her just before and i've actually changed her headband i've swapped her headband because i think this one looks a little bit better than this one on her and I think this one fits Daisy Bell a bit better so let's just go through the details of this headband there's gorgeous pearl details there's 
a lovely white trim. I love the flower on the corner here, just so pretty. And we've seen her dress. So Dolly friends, that's a wrap on our Dolly extravaganza. So just a small selection of our dolls this year because we couldn't get a lot of them out into the living room. So hopefully next year we'll be better set up for that. Now, if you celebrate Easter, we would like to wish you a happy Easter. And for those who don't, we hope that wherever you are in the world, that you're feeling safe and loved. Blessings to all our dear Dolly friends and big Easter blessings to all those who observe Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. We look forward to seeing you soon. Bye until then. Bye, everyone. Bye.